Hey guys, welcome to the video, welcome to my basement, welcome to the channel. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a little video segment um, on just making a little improvement to my spindle here. This is the spindle that I've been working on. I'm in the middle of working on a video where I'm going to actually show you guys how, I'm, how I weld this up or fabricate it. And what I'm going to try and do is just, I'm going to catch this one on film, I'm going to bring you guys along and I'm going to kind of talk through it. And uh, we'll just see how the video is, if it's fun to watch or if it's not. So what I have is on my um, spindle here, this is the caliper bracket. And most of the spindle is made out of 3 16 I made the caliper bracket out of quarter inch. And I don't have any problem with its strength this way as far as actually holding the caliper in place. I'm, I'm good with that. But what I've... What I've become uncomfortable with is it's only a quarter inch thick and what I did is I just drilled the holes in the right place and then I threaded them for these 3 8 bolts. But that means that when this caliper is actually mounted on here, you know, this bolt is really, it's only being held in on metal that's a quarter inch thick and I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. On the spindles that I made for the rear of the bug that are on there right now, I made this piece out of 3 8 inch so that there was a lot more meat, or at least another eighth, for that bolt to, uh, to dig into. And that's held up very well. But I didn't want to make this piece out of 3 8 because that's a pretty big chunk of steel. And I think that's mainly overkill. So what I'm going to do is I got this piece of 5 8 steel, just round rod, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to figure out how long of a piece I can make in here before it gets before it runs into the rotor and I'm just going to cut little pieces I'm going to thread them for this 3 8 and I'm, I'm hoping that this can be like 3 8 to a half of an inch thick um, and then I will re-drill these holes 5 8 of an inch so that this slides right in there and then I'll TIG weld it so the first thing I need to do is uh, assemble this so that I can measure how much room I have. These are not the actual lug nuts that I would use for this. I don't have the proper lug nuts yet, but these are the same thread. Um, and they're actually really good for centering this on here because they have a kind of like a pointed tip that digs in there and, and centers it. So I've just been using them for mock-up. All right, so now we're looking at the side profile here. This is our rotor. This is the caliper bracket. This is the caliper. If I put that on there, that would be a half an, a half an inch. It's actually 5 eighths of an inch from here to the rotor. So if I go half an inch, that'll give me plenty of meat for that bolt to thread into. And it'll still give me, it'll still keep me an eighth of an inch away from the rotor, which I'm perfectly good with that. So uh, let's make these half of an inch long. So I'm going to make four of these because I need two for this caliper and then I'll I'll require two for the other caliper as well. So what I'm going to do is set this for half of an inch. Give myself a little scribe mark there. Now I'm going to cut four of these. I'll have to remark each one because I'll cut this one off and then I'll rescribe, cut it off, rescribe, cut it off. And I'm going to cut a little bit on the outside of the line because I am going to take these over to my uh, lathe, clean up the surfaces, and that's where I'm going to drill the hole through there. Um, so I'll give myself a little bit of extra so I can clean these surfaces up and still keep it at uh, half of an inch. So 
So now I've got all four of these cut. You can, you can see I already did one of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in my lathe. This is a, a small little hobby lathe and it's really only meant for working on aluminum. But I know from experience I can, I can work on little tiny pieces like this made out of steel. I just have to be careful and only take down like uh, five thousandths at a time. If I go any more than that, it's just going to chatter and be damaging to the lathe. But for what I'm looking to do here, um, it'll get this done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the lathe, clean up one side, then I'm going to flip it, I'm going to clean up the other side, then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to measure how thick it is to find out how much I have to take off to make it a half of an inch. I'll take off that amount to make it exactly half of an inch. And then I'm going to use this centering drill bit to center that piece. And then this is the drill bit that I need for the uh, 3 8 tap that I'm going to be running through. But I can't go straight to this drill bit, so I'm going to step it up. I'm going to drill it out first with this one, then with this one, then with this one is one size underneath this one. That way when I drill it out with this one, it'll make a nice, smooth, clean hole. Then I'll take it over to my vise and I'll thread it. So I'm at the point now where I've got all four of these pieces machined and I've got the hole in there. I need to thread them. This is uh, easily the worst part of this whole process because threading such a small piece, it's so difficult to hold this in the vise um, while you thread it. It's, it's really a pain in the butt. Um, so let me give you a little tip as to how I can get this done. If you can see right there, there's a little tiny V-notch in this vise to help you hold things like this. And then I went over to the bandsaw and I put just a little slit on the side of this collar, which isn't going to hurt anything because it's just going to get welded over when I put it in, the, uh, in the, the caliper bracket. But if you take that little edge and if you line it up on one of the edges of the V-notch, then when you tighten the vise down it essentially kind of bites into that little notch and it makes it so that it holds this without it spinning without you having to crush down on this too hard because this piece isn't that big and with having this hole in there it's not thick enough if you crank down on this too much it uh, it ovals it and you can feel that when you tap it plus it screws up your tap so now I got this in there it's it's in there tight enough I'm going to tap it, um, and when I tap this, I'm just going to have to go a little bit, back up a little bit, a little bit more, back up a little bit, and just work it back and forth, keep oiling it, so that I don't put too much pressure on it, so that I don't spin it in here. I'm just going to have to do that all the way through. And then I'll take it out, clean it up, test the bolt in there, and uh, hopefully it'll be good.
So you just saw me drill these holes out. These were the uh, tapped for the 3 8 bolt, but I ran it out with a half inch bolt to enlarge it, and then I went with a 5 8 because that's the diameter of the steel that I'm working with. So essentially all I did was I just chased my threaded holes through uh, out to a 5 8 hole, and then I bolted in on each mounting tab on the caliper. I put a bolt in there, and then I lightly put on one of my threaded inserts. I put the bolt on just tight enough to hold it into place. I didn't torque it down real tight because when I when I heat this up with the TIG torch, I don't want the threads to soften up and it to do any damage. So it's actually in here just tight enough to hold the piece on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to the garage. I'm going to clamp this caliper in place here. That will hold both of these little inserts exactly where they need to be. I'll tack it probably in three places on each one and then I'll uh, take the bolts out, take the caliper off and then I'll solid weld it on the top and the bottom. So here's our finished product. You can see the, the 5 8 inch pieces put in there. I filed these down on the back side just to get them as smooth as possible. Uh, I did that just by taking a file like this and making sure that it was touching both sides so that as I was smoothing it, it was you know, essentially staying level with the other side. And that, and that knocked a little, little bit of the high spots off. So now when I clamp the caliper on there it seems to bite down pretty flat so I like that that gives me a solid half inch of threads for the bolt to bite into all right there we have it guys that was quite a bit of work just to um, build a little bit better caliper bracket but these are the kind of things you know when you're building something like this from scratch you want to have everything as good as you can make it so that your confidence is high so when you're running down the road, there's a lot less things that you need to worry about. I'm not going to worry about these. These should be plenty strong, um, and that's what, I was that's what I was trying to accomplish. So I hope you guys liked the video. I tried to set it up in a little bit different format where I just kind of took you along and gave you little blurps as I was working on the project. So hopefully that'll make for a good video. Um, thanks for watching it. I hope it's helping you guys with whatever you're working on. And I hope I see you on the next video. Take care.